Lunara is very powerful, but I'm so-so with her. So let's see if we can get a win right away. Did the doggy cooling mat show up yet? Yes, it did. And it actually sucks really badly. I'm gonna try and return it. 40 euros, and it's basically a plastic mat. Cooling. No pre-cooling required. Pleasant cool feeling. Easy to wash. Anti-static. It is less cool than the stone floor downstairs. Less. A 40 euros glorified mat made of plastic. He doesn't even use it. He, he's hot, he lies on it, nothing happens. There must be good ones in this world, but this was a complete scam. It's not even worth the time to return it, but it's just, it's about principle here. forgot to plug it in it's not an electricity mat Prepare yourselves for battle, heroes. You. I see feels bad city. man slight logie popsicle from his Californian brethren <laughs> Have you ever considered just there must be doggy popsicles way. right but I wouldn't give him a human one Just buy like 10 laptop cooling stations and stick them together. Lol. I will renew these lands. Uh, I'll get Blossom Swell. Intruders. I have a laptop cooling station uh, like 10 years ago because the laptop got so hot that when people spam memes it burnt my uh, legs. Lunar is a good laner against uh, Murky. Easy to chase him down and kill him. Let's go. This was never your last. A thorn in your side. Well memed. Thanks, guys. For the I try. Taste my spear. Huh? That sounds familiar. Casually taking some tower shots, because why not? This because frack efficiency. For the wilds. Taste my spear. Boom. Do you like to use the stop key in movements? Intruders. No. I don't use stop much, I think. Time for some reading. When is the Lost Vikings? TRL. However, Blizzard groups them. Should be the T, Janiper. A thorn in your side. Wow, Winions. Old Patch, I would have never killed a gate already. Let's go. Taste my spear. Oh yeah, of course. Asmodan's general of hell has been helping. I just love watching them win. I hear the call of Kalimdor. The forest fights back. Mm, I'll get nimble with. That will be good. In a competitive setting, when do you think it's best to take Lunara opposed to the other ranged assassins? If you have a team that can buy time, she's a late game monster. So capitalize on that in competitive setting. If your team can buy time well, she's great. So who can buy time? Poke can buy time because you dissuade the opponent from continuing pushes because they're hurt. So think about Zagara. Uh, things that have disengaged like Tassadar and uh, Chen. Uh, force wall, barrel roll. Gem is hard to kill. Leoric, for instance. 
These are all great with uh, Lunara. What is not great, for instance, is uh, Rainer. He, he can't buy time at all. So you don't go Rainer and Lunara. Nor really... Uh, nor Kerrigan, really. Lunara does her damage best over 20 seconds. Poison everyone. Kerrigan needs your follow-up damage in just a few seconds. Had to come to this. I just love if you have a Kerrigan on your team, you might even want to consider going for Leaping Strike instead. I'll go for Nature's Culling. I think it's still a good one. A thorn in your side. Is that a Pikachu near you? Oh wait, you are the Pikachu with that shirt. Uh, hey, I saw you went into the water tower, Omni Rocket. Nice one. Intruders. But do you know that there's a lot of spoofers in Isostein? I cleared a level 6 gym today. I go two minutes away. It's taken back by the same guy with a Dragonite 3200. Intruders. I see that guy everywhere and he does not even leave his home, I think. Because I never see him walk around. Taste my spear. Ridiculous, they should ban these Slow cheaters. Way too many GPS spoofers. For the wilds. I just love watching them wilt. Yeah, for me too, but it's always fake. The tracker is horribly broken. Niantic should learn from Blizzard and how to communicate if the community is uh, not happy about something. Intruders. Oh my god, I can't believe she didn't kill me. Thanks. Report him and you will see ban in two days. Did the same. Really? Oh, that's... I really hope to hear that, EU. I did take a screenshot and I will report him. But how do they know that he's really a cheater? How can they tell? I was hoping that there will be an answer like that. Ouch. 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 I need to stick around next to Brightwing for a bit. Thornwood Vine. Let's get to the root of this problem. Fresh food for the plants. Fine then. Time for some reason. <laughs> you just watched my Illidan video, Brown Dog? Did you get that part where I said I'm an Illidan god? Which was a blank face lie. They track the movement history. Okay, well that's good to know because this guy has like, he's got like 10, 3,000 plus Dragonites. Now I understand if you tr if you try hard, you get some good stuff, but you can't get that good. And then to like, we we got three gyms, and five minutes later, all three were taken back. Like they would have had to chase us like a fracking stalker, and we were on bicycle too. They would have to bicycle right behind us. There was no way that that was legit. Taste my spear. So now I'll just go to the top again to get some bonus XP. Why would you care about someone cheating in Pokemon Go? Because it's... Um, Yes, it's it's Where's kind of like a casual game, but it's kind of fun to conquer all the gyms in your neighborhood, like with legit play. You really looked for things, you really exercised, you conquer the gym, you feel like your town belongs to you now, that kind of thing. And then someone catch all the Dragonites from New York Central Park or something. 
and then they spoof right next to you. They're not even there. They just take all the gems in the place. And then, free, like, legit players can't own anything anymore. Like, they just launched it in Brazil, and two hours after it launched, there was people with, like, 10, 10 3k plus Dragonites. Cool. Where's the excitement? Get where I'm coming from. I've played hardcore games for like one and a half decade. And I know Pokemon Go is a casual game. But I also know that I'm I talking to people on the street. The what? Taste and I've been spirit. exercising. What? I've been going out in daylight. I have tan lines, guys. Intruders. Tan lines. That's really special for me. I have been saying in my life... For the last 25 years, how cool would it be if you could play video games outdoors? So yeah, I think if someone cheats, that's that's a pretty uh, bannable offense for me. Uh, do we have a lot of slows? Yes, Chen. I'll get uh, unfair advantage. I love that one. Oops. Do not let our enemy claim the Punisher's power. Oh, Dragonites, not Lions, Omni Rocket. Let's go. This was never your last. I'm uh, meeting my brother and his children more thanks to Pokemon Go. I play together with my brother's children. This, uh... My nephew is like, what? Four years old. It's fun. What about the StarCraft music? I turned it off because I was playing Morales. And uh, it will block... It will block on YouTube if I uh, play that. And I still wanted a Morales video on YouTube. I was Logan with children. He loves them. He doesn't bite them. He does lick them. And uh, he is a bit too enthusiastic. And I think that's just how Golden Retrievers are. I mean, he's like, he's a big joker, Logan. He's not like a army dog, help dog super disciplined amazing or something oh my god rip in peace dude he's not like the most uh do like obedient ever but he's uh he's adorable he's fun he loves everyone he pleases when you know there's a reward uh, he loves food basically your typical golden retriever he is uh i mean this is uh kids in the neighborhood he's always like when are you taking Logan out for a walk again? And he's like, Logan! <laughs> and then, imagine me. I'm trying to teach discipline to my dog every time I'm out. Uh, sometimes I let him play, but he has to earn it. If he behaves poorly and he doesn't listen, it's the end of play. If he comes when called, he can continue playing. And they're smart. They get it, right? But occasionally, he doesn't feel like listening. And most of the time... The punishment will be cut play short. Uh, if you have to poop, you poop. But playing is different. So he has to earn it. And it's really good for his uh, you know, discipline. Imagine you're training your dog not to just run after someone when he sees them. But to get your permission first. Uh, just so that he doesn't bowl over some granny. Imagine there's this kid in the neighborhood. You've tried to explain him that he can only come when I give permission or uh, when when he is summoned and that he must first earn the contact with the human but the kid is like 8 years old so he's like Logan! 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 and then Logan of course he it, it drives him crazy he doesn't know the difference between his owner and uh, some other human like he's, he's uh, he loves all humans so he will run after the child and then the child is like ah, ah. 
and then Logan walks away because either I pull him away or he's like, what's wrong? And one step away and he's like, Logan! <laughs> and Logan is like, what? What? There's a party? There's a party? Let's go! Let's go! What shall I take? Um, I'll take Choking Poland. Crit damage. Nicely done. But part of training your dog is to prepare them for situations where children do the wrong thing, quote unquote. Because they can't be expected. Like, they're still anthropomorphizing uh, dog behavior. So they can't be expected to behave perfectly. So, whereas petting a dog oh my god petting a dog uh under their neck is for example better than uh, over their head because petting them on their head is a bit of a dominant gesture most of the time with uh, well habilitated dogs it will go just fine but there is a risk that the dog takes it as a an unwelcome intrusion on his respect yeah. it's like if you pat a person a stranger on the head it's, it's a little bit strange. I haven't used Wisp in ages. I just realized. So part of training a, a child is uh, petting your dog on the head, even though you know it's wrong. It's the whole cliche, just like giving carrots to rabbits is a cliche, because yes, they love it. And yes, we saw it in the Bugs Bunny cartoon, but it's not healthy for them. It's too much sugar, not enough, whatever else. But all these cliches, <laughs> shish kebab, all these cliches happen. Is he gonna gorge me? Well, I just did 759 damage on stitches. To be fair, if you tickle my neck, I would be equally weird <laughs> weirded out. out. Good point. I'll get Abolish Magic. Hey, it has a new fancy animation. Sick. I guess so. Tickling you under your neck would also be strange. I understand. That's equally uncalled for. Oh, nice shot, Slimmy. I just gave my rabbit a carrot five minutes ago. I have also given my rabbits carrots on the rocket. But that's just because we are human and we like to anthropomorphize. If you want to do them a favor, you give them greens. The best thing to give rabbits is greens and weeds and green vegetables that you can also eat. I will save cleanse for temporal loop now, which he does have. He uh, he's embodying focus Morales. Very much so. <laughs> focus Morales, only Johanna. I must stay out of reach of Illidan now. <laughs> 